Okay. What's up? Hey everybody, welcome back to another Monday. Uh, well, we're we're about to wave goodbye, I suppose, to Monday, as it were. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Good to good to see so many people in the chat even before we got started. That's pretty rad. But hey, what's going on? Um, so today is going to be a little bit different than normal, uh, and I'm kind of looking for. Um, I'm kind of looking to all of you to see what you're all feeling. So here's here's the thing. We're in the middle of Inktober right now, and I have every every inclination and to to do it here um, tonight. I got two prompts. I got one from yesterday and the one for today. Yesterday's was radio, and the one before that was Blade. Or sorry, today's is Blade, and I kind of want to incorporate it um, with what we're doing here tonight. So. We'll get to that. Before we get to any of the, the new fusions, potentially, or the Inktober stuff, uh, which if you haven't seen the Inktober stuff, I guess I could pull it up now. But first order of business is I promised everybody that was asking we would get back to Tropa Bunny and we would uh, color it in. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So we're going to color Tropa Bunny first, and then we're going to make some decisions about what we're doing with the rest of the the, uh, the rest of the stream rather what's up moo welcome welcome um so we're just going to color this in pretty pretty quick here i don't have the reference um images pulled up the models pulled up anymore because i replaced them already with the new candidates so i'm just gonna be pulling the colors off of what is off my reference material here and as always i am open i am open to uh vetoes and the like, if we if something's going south that you're not a big fan of. Besides that, obviously. actively thumbs downing uh things in this chill playlist that are not actively chill uh because it's driving me nuts uh, when we do these streams and it's just like we're jiving to what we're listening to like right now and then some dubstep comes on and it's a whole vibe stealer vibe stealer that's right you heard me say that So I'm thinking that maybe uh, even if we don't go too crazy on uh, some of the, make this guy smaller. Even if we don't go crazy on some of the shading, I definitely do um, some transition from here to the other green here to whatever we decide the, the main color is going to be for the body. Why not? Why say no to Wub Wub Radio? Uh, I, I did. This is the chill playlist. Um, and I'm using a built in um, thing that lets me play uh, royalty free music without having to worry about it. It's a, it's a built in thing for Streamlabs uh, that I'm using. So I, I, I intend to keep using that over like Pandora or something else, which I might run into some problems with. Potentially. A, a uh, let's say acceptable Monday. Let's go with that. Acceptable Monday. Super nice outside. Oh, good. Yeah, it was a little bit warmer today, but not so warm. Um, I'm a big fan of, of uh, hoodie weather, so I was thrilled to see that it was still chilly enough. But if you really wanted to man up, I suppose, for lack of a better phrase, you could. Oh, I actually don't need that there. I'm 
shorts and a hoodie weather. That's where I'm at. Hey, Carlo, thanks for the sub, my man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's currently 43 outside by you, Cameron. Yo. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut a couple of corners here. best weather I'm telling you So I'm gonna have it kind of fade between, uh, blend in between these two here. Just kind of like as a, as a range. So there's a nice little gradient here, hopefully. Hopefully this one doesn't look like Garbo. It's always a possibility. idea across I think oh yeah <laughs> well that Phoebus I'm glad you like the Phoebus <laughs> I I love that face I came across it in an image search one time and I was like that needs to be a mascot or an emoji or something and lo and behold the next opportunity I got to introduce it to a community <laughs> you gotta seize the seize the the day on that one you know So make a carp AD reference, and I realized that it wasn't magic carp, so I can't do a carp reference at all. Um, okay, I also want the dark color on the big bushes stuff. So that's a bush. That's gonna be a bush color. Um, okay, and then so for the the nice thing is, is that the eyebrows on regular uh, lopini are the same color, where just about as the bananas that um, Tropius has. It's this nice pale yellow. So that's nice. This could also be... What the heck is this? Out of the blue by abstraction. More like extraction. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, that wasn't... That really wasn't smooth jazz. It was... It was close, but it wasn't quite there. I still don't think so. rather come across uh so you're probably quick to judge no it was definitely jazz you had you were around the money dude 100 percent on the money Come on, 
Brown, where are you at? So is the banana bunny the opposite of care? Yeah, it is the opposite of the banana jar for sure. I think that uh, this is, well, I don't know. How would you quantify this creature in comparison? Are you saying it's like the, like the foil to it? Could be. And I did completely forget, oopsies, about the banana high heels. And how dare I? How dare I? It's gotta be the same color as the banana eyebrows, right? Otherwise that's just a that's just a crime. Um, anyway, I gotta say, really quick, it's been amazing to see uh, so many different people um, participating in two things. First of all, the Fall Fitness Challenge we got going on in the Discord, but also the uh, the Inktober uh, activity has been incredible. It's been really great. Can we all just, can I just take a moment really quick to appreciate, first of all, everybody, but we were all kind of talking about in the chat earlier, but... Rotten, Rotten Tanuki, his his style is so cool. <laughs> he was posting stuff. I'm like, damn, wow, this is so neat. And he puts like five minutes into it, you know, like he was saying, he puts like five minutes and like some Sharpie stuff. And I'm like, dude, that's so good. This looks real good. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, we might come back and shade this another time, but this has been colored. So promise, promise kept. I don't think it looks too awful. I think it would benefit greatly from some, some shading. Need some dimension. But other than that, I think we uh, I think we good. So now here we gotta have a little chat really quick, guys and gals and everybody else as well. Everybody here, let's figure out what we're doing. So um, I originally was like, we'll do we'll do pairs, and then we'll do them with the Inktober. Uh, prompts, right? Again, today is radio and blade was what we're planning on doing today. So I already am committed to an overall Pokemon theme, and the more I thought about it, and the more I looked at the wheel and the different possible combinations, I don't think that they're going to work well with, with radio in particular. Blade we can kind of get away with, because there's give it a sword, like whatever. But like, do we want to just do the prompts, or do we want to do fusions? That's really the question. I'm asking. Um, so let me know in the chat if you want fusions and prompts or just the prompts. My, I'm thinking more just the prompts. But if y'all came for fusions, then we're gonna do fusions. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So y'all tell me what you think, um, and we can review some of my Mashup Monday stuff if you want while everybody's voting. Um, so this is for day one. This is for fish. That's some of that uh, that magic cop action right there. Yep. Um, particularly, my favorite part about this is the outline <laughs> with the juxtaposed um, the fish on top. Music is a bit loud. Okay. Okay. Is that is this better in comparison to my voice now? Are we are we doing better balance wise? Hopefully. Um, so yeah, this one was pretty cool. It's a ghastly for for Wisp, which was day two. 
being scared of this plugged in fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ghastly making any face other than his usual like Ooh, is is always fun. And then uh, we did bulky for day three, and it's just this angry Jigglypuff. Either prompts or fusions, but not together, is Tyler's suggestion. Uh, Moo was saying Loudred and Mega Caesar do both the things and the fusion. So here's the thing though, is that if we do fusions, I'm not gonna put in, it's not gonna be custom fusions. They're going to be things that people um, gave us suggestions for, cause I'm gonna honor the pool. I'm just adjusting music on my end as well. So, so if we do the fusions, the candidates would be for the mixture with the prompts would be Agron, Garbodor, Lucario, Snorlax, Torkoal, Deerling, Lapras, Mr. Mime, Stantler, and Vivillion, or Viv Vivillon, v Vivillon? I know it's supposed to be French, I can't say it, but Vivillion. <laughs> Looks like a pavilion. So I'm open to either. I don't know if that changes your answer or not, Moo. Knowing that it won't be a a fitting Pokemon. Hello and hey Converse, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're making a decision right now between if we're doing the fusions with the prompts for Inktober or just the prompts. Anyway, it works for you. Okay. Well. That's Moo, and uh, Tyler already said either one or the other, but not together. Either way, we'll need a brand new canvas. Uh, so, either way, this is going to be Inktober. Day four, and this one is radio. Here, I've got an idea. Moo, why don't we do, here, why don't we do exactly the opposite of what I said I wanted to do, because you gave me a good idea. Why don't we start with a base of a Pokemon that we know would do well with the word, and then we'll fuse that with um, another suggestion. Or do we not want the fusions because it's going to be weird and forced? <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of going both ways, but um, I'm going to pull up some Loudred uh, reference material in the meantime, because that is such a good idea. Loudred is such a good call. Dude, Loudred's such a cool Pokemon. Can we just, can we just go there really quick? It's a cool looking Pokemon. Good design. Well, it's not looking like people are, are feeling one way or the other. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and do the prompts. Uh, this is going to be probably a Loudred. I, I'm not quite sure what we've got, what we've got going on with it, but all right. So I'm thinking maybe how about a Loudred yelling at a radio? And them just trying to out yell each other? Could could be. That sounds cool. All right. That's all the green light I needed was somebody saying do what you want someone's doing that says cool that sounds good to me <laughs> anyway converse it's nice to have you it's glad uh, good that you're off work it's been a while I, I'm, I bet you're you're glad to be home
Got a big old mouth. Oh, thanks. Well, we love having you here. So the feeling is mutual. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, by the way, I'm entertaining the idea if these maintain popularity as well as they have been, because this is just as popular. Um, some days even more successful than our Thursday day streams. Um, I might get a second camera to video like over my shoulder so that people can see actually me draw on the screen because I was noticing I was perusing other people that stream art and uh, they seem to uh, do something like that. It's very interesting. Or they have a program wherein it shows their cursor where it's hovering and stuff. Be kind of interesting. Also doing that research, <laughs> because when I was when I was setting this up and I was like, oh, I can draw, that'd be kind of a fun source of con uh, content and stuff like that. Um, I was like, who's who wants to actually watch that? And after now I scope some stuff out because I always, always, always do some research into an area before I go into it, especially for content creation. After having watched some of these streams, oh, I, I know why now, it's fun, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I had a blast hanging out in some of these streams and some of the replays and stuff are really, really quite cool. Also, this is kind of nice because um, I haven't really had an excuse to draw a louder before, and I don't think louder is going to be somebody's choice. You know what I mean? I don't think it would have gotten chosen otherwise. I think that's better. DeFi! 
Defy, Defy, what's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Good to have you, friendo. Oh, yes. Here, I'll, pu I'll pull up a trap of bunny really quick. So this is the finished product for, well, it's the base coloration. The only thing that wasn't base is the, is the gradient between the ears and the rest of the, the base of the ears and the, and the leaf per bit, I guess. So there's that. So D5, we'll come back to this and we'll shade it sometime, even if it doesn't get a reason to. This one needs it. <laughs> Definitely. I think it'd be, uh, it'd be fun. So. What up, fish? How's it going? Uh, so we're doing we're doing prompts today. We're not doing fusions. We're doing the Inktober prompts. So we're doing radio right now. Just FYI. I was watching somebody give, uh, I was watching this video tutorial on digital art and someone, it was, it was like, a, you know, how to draw faster. And I was like, that would be nice. Cause sometimes I get too bogged down on small details as you all have seen live several times. Um, and literally like the number one tip was don't zoom in so much. So often we're doing rough sketches. Um, but then also don't spend time on things you're not good at was literally one of the the pieces of advice and I was like excuse me and I started to think about it I was like remember when I was complaining so much about the mech it's super on point super duper on point I was wasting so much time focusing on like the the lines getting them straight I was like oh I feel called out but that was a good point You know, like. <laughs> it just went to, yeah, I think it was kind of like a don't don't focus on it as much. You know, like don't obsess. Like when I was like, oh, this looks bad, and I gotta go back and do a different coloring, uh, you know, strategy and blah blah. That's all true, but there were things on there like the Grookey that. We eventually did spend time on that aspect of it. Could have done. <laughs> DeFi, I think some of some things in life are non-negotiable, and adulting might be one of them. At least, you know, at least one day a week. The other day, the other days, you can do whatever you want. He's gonna be looking at a radio. Is he gonna be mad about it? getting there he needs his ears though he needs his ears real bad do we have our sunrise teams together well i'm gonna bow out of that conversation because i i do not absolutely do not Okay. Trying to decide if I like the eye sizes the way they are or no. Yeah, I like them bigger. It'll be better uh, dimension-wise once we actually have the uh, the big old ears on him. Oh, 
Indolence have also brought this arm in. Much better. Yeah. Stay in the lines, please. Okay, that's looking closer and closer. Gotta get his little feetsies finished up. These toes are gross. I mean, I, I, I'm redrawing them, but at the same time, like, I don't know how I could draw these any differently. They just don't look good. From just a design perspective, I'm just not a fan. Of these big, bulky toenails. think maybe they're too long maybe that's why make them shorter and I'll like them all right Yeah, that's, um, that's close. I think that's good enough right there. Whew, okay. 
he's a mad boy. He's angry. He's yelling at a, a poor, a poor little radio. Let me pull up a radio really quick. Old school. Boom box. Sure. <laughs> this image is great. Okay. So if the plane is, well, let me, let me not mess with Loudred. Even on a sketch basis. Midwest does do it best. I just wanted to weigh in really quick. Okay, continue. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I guess the antenna could be anywhere. Could be just fine there on the side. and probably do a lot of these details when there's not so much sketch in the way, but it's going to be uh, the general idea. Just to remind myself what everything is. Slight texture. Blah, blah, radio. <laughs> the nice thing about Inktober has been also not coloring things in. It's all just been a sketch and an ink, and that's uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, 907 Charizard, I'm sorry to say, we're not doing fusions today, we're doing uh, Inktober prompts. Yes, like DeFi just said. An Inktober themed one. We're doing radio first, which uh, features a Loudred.
and a radio. A regular old radio. Yeah, uh, we weren't entirely sure, and some of my messaging might be, what would my TED talk be if I hosted one? Well, really quick, 907, uh, we uh, weren't sure if we were going to do mashups with the prompts or just mashups or just prompts separately. We ended up doing the prompts because everybody's like, whatever you want to do. And I'm like, I really want to do my Inktober stuff. So I guess that's what we're doing. Um, let's see. So if I, if I gave a TED talk, what would it be on? You know, I, this is, this might be super nerdy to to say but i'm a little bit disappointed that convention season didn't happen this year because i was going to try to host a panel this year about podcasting not about this one in particular but like how it's how it's changing a lot of different things in the way that audiobooks do it as well but like um i think we've talked about this on the show before or one of the q a's or something like that but like podcasting is like one of the things that really helped me get through some dark personal stuff in school um like you know I, I was interested in stuff nobody else cared about blah 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 didn't have a lot of friends to talk to about it or at least not into the the level of passion that i had for me at the time it was world of warcraft so i really wanted to um it took me in a dark spot let's just say that so i wanted i, I don't feel like i had to pay it back in some way right um, and so I, I want to talk about, you know, the mental health aspect of it, you know, the, the whole, like, do I know these people I've never met sort of thing? Like how people deal with that from a creator perspective, what it feels like, what it doesn't feel like, answer questions like that. Um, and just talk about the benefits of podcasting in general. So it's a long answer, but I would talk about podcasting and the mental benefits of it. But alas, no, no um, season for uh, conventions this year. Maybe next year, huh? That's more or less what I'm looking for here. We can add some more details later if we really want to. Although maybe I don't. Uh, does he have a tail? Not from this angle, at least it doesn't look like. Neither in the um, reference material either. I'm gonna move this whole leg down. Is what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's on a different layer. That's why. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's embarrassing. But what if I gave him a, a tail anyway? <laughs> a radio tail? Well, I mean, we could. Let's see. Let's see how we feel after the ink, huh? Um... What part would be a bonus patron episode? Tfi, what are you talking about? Like the the talk I was talking about? That'd be a good way to, to practice it at the very least. Okay, I think this guy is ready to be Ingarude. I'm actually just gonna put these two together. Okay. Thinking something a little bit thicker for style. Uh, that would be interesting. That would be that would be really really interesting. Um, <laughs> DeFi, is that you suggesting that maybe if we're gonna have stuff like that, I should consider higher tiers? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay. My phone keeps distracting me, so I just flipped it over. Sorry about that.
make his tail a giant treble clef. Ooh, that's a good idea. It is kind of tail shaped. We could do that. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to kind of, unfortunately, maintain the, uh, the, the purity of the Pokemon. Since we're not really doing a fusion. Base cliff. <laughs> Base cliff. <laughs> it is a brilliant idea. Don't get me wrong. The people want base clef. We can do. We can do a tail. How about we give it the base clef tail to the radio? Or is that uh, is that cheap? Is that not what the people want? Good deal. The chin cleft and the crimson chin makes a compelling argument for sure. Oh my gosh. Crimson chin. His young boy cleft. Chef the boy, the boy chin wonder, right? I was also thinking about um, starting to hold a couple of like patron uh, or something like pseudo seminars for people that are interested in getting into podcasting because it's really easy um, and I feel like people think it's not easy um, and that's why they don't make a show of their own and I think everybody should do it. Oh no, your PGR team is fairly odd parents inspired? Oh please, please elaborate. Patreon is down? Oh no. Really? What are those slackers doing? I'm joking, they're not slackers. Better luck next time, Teef. I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
that's a lose-lose situation here. They don't get your money. We don't get the increased pledge. You know, it's that's just not good. That's just not good. They must be down for maintenance. It happens really, really rarely. Let's go there. Oh, well, Kyle's probably not going to be playing Until Dawn. We're probably going to be doing... um, Maybe he will do Until Dawn. Maybe we'll see that in the future. I don't want to say never or no. Um, but we're still playing on that After Dark stream. Just gotta, He has to find a day. An evening. And then we're going to play... Dying Light, baby! Yeah! Dying Light's the best! Actually, I think... Make this a little bit more angry looking. adjust my type cup where everyone picked a type to use and created a persona to go with it. You chose fairy and your persona was Mr. Croc. <laughs> Somebody asked your what, what type are you using? Did you do like the whole like body C's too? Like fairies! Like you gotta really like lean into it, you know? Can we talk about like how good that show was? The writing was amazing. Melter of dreams. Wow. What is that from? Thera, Smelter of Dreams. Is it a reference or is it something of your own making? tooth that's all right
That's better. I don't. I think when I had merged the um, the layers, I didn't really clean it up or uh, return the opacity back to less than normal. It was your own making steel, so fair it's the Latin uh, name for steel, pharaoh. Oh, okay. I like that. That's that's really well thought out. It's nice. That doesn't look too bad. I was really worried about the foot. Actually, super worried about that foot, uh, but it turned out okay. It's fine. Passable. Uh, woof, come on. There we go. Anybody have this year's Voodoo Mountain Dew mystery flavor? Where is just the average Joe when you need him? Is he's the Mountain Dew fanatic, correct? Am I misremembering? Is it somebody else? And if they're in here, I apologize for not remembering. Okay, well, that just turned out okay. All right. Time for the radio. Pop or soda? Both? Oh my gosh. It's too much. You only have to give up one, Tyler.
Come here. Goodbye. Okay. we go much cleaner okay Oh, the antenna, that's right. Well, let me put it. We'll put it up, he up here, probably. The pressure sensitivity on this is so high because of the thickness of the brush. That's okay. It's stylized and it's tiny. I don't have to spend too much time on that if I don't need to. Oh, Pello's here. Hey, what up, Pello? How you doing, man? Stylized in 20. Or in 20? Tiny. This is a 20 year old radio. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Just decided it looks good. Ugh. Uh, we're gonna need a mod in here uh, for Cameron. <laughs>
Can I take a time out, Cameron, for 65 seconds? <laughs> no. <laughs> she can time herself out for 69 seconds if she wants to, and she'll get a nice out of me, that's for sure. That's funny. That's really funny. These aren't perfect squares but it's not about that it's about the idea and that's there for sure <sighs> okay he only did it that one time because he was bull yeah i i i um let's maybe i could give this a little bit more here just a little bit more dimension The serpent. All right, let's skip this. That was lame. That was super dumb. make this emote only chat for 69 seconds go for it yeah do it please let's see what let's see what comes of it it'll make the the emoji box bump in <laughs> Jam. Uh oh. Is that a is that a mod can get through that sort of thing?
That looks all right. I'm okay with this one. I think we did a good job, team. Yep. Oh yeah, we're in. Uh, that was emote only for a second. That was nice. Look at you. Look at everybody's in their in their hypes, and I also like the F emojis every single time those are popped out. Big fan. Ah. Well. Uh, that's that's him. That's uh, that's Loudred. So now the next one, the next one is Blade. Blade. Uh, so the original suggestion was Caesar. I've got a better idea. How about we give a sword to a Pokemon that would never have one or should never have one, like a Bell Sprout or something. Just like Wesley Snipes. Yes. <laughs> In DeFi, thank you. That's very kind. Oh, yeah. Hone Edge. You know what? I. Electro. <laughs> Electrode. That's a good one. <laughs> um, also, it's not day five. Fire. It's day five, Chris. What are you doing? Um, I'm thinking I really I, I really kind of do want to draw a hone edge um, just on its own I, I have never so wait did I do a hyphen or a I did a hyphen okay my OCD just showed a little bit there it's okay leave me alone How about giving a uh, Gallade Hone Edge arms? See, you know, that's that's the fusion. That's the fusion that would work, I think. Uh we we could we could do that. Let me pull up a Hone Edge really quick. I kind of want to see just how detailed it is. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do a hone edge that's stuck in a stone, so that people that you know have no idea will at least get the reference. You know, so like, what is that? That doesn't look like a sword. That looks like a creature. Well, yeah, it is. It's a sword that's also a creature, yo. So we'll we'll do a hone edge. We'll do a, a hone edge in the stone. I'm all here for that. Honage in a golem. Like if it was a Honage in a in a Regirock. You know what? I love that. It won't be a full Regirock. It'll just be like the, the back of him or whatever. Oh, that is such a good Carlo, that's such a good idea, dude. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let me pull Regirock up. The great thing about Regirock, though, too, is that he's He's just basic shapes, my favorite. So I'm just observing my cat. He's been off his antibiotics for two days now. He hasn't thrown up, really. We're on the other side, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He's very excited that he's happy and healthy as well, even though he doesn't know it yet.
and I'm gonna take him to the vet for another year analysis. He's gonna be like, what? I thought we were done with this. You're like, not yet, buddy. Not yet. Oh, so, uh, oh, Converse, I saw you said, I'm good with just a hone edge, lol. Does that mean anti-Reggie is the question? Because we haven't entertained any anti-Reggie votes yet. I'd be, uh, that'd be a fun conversation. Or if it was just, uh, let's keep it simple, you're on board for that. Okay, I wasn't sure. I just, I wanted to make sure everybody wasn't like, ooh, Reggie, really gross. Because, uh, fair enough if somebody feels that way. I'm trying to see where where I'd put it. So what does everybody think? Do we want to put it? <sighs> I think I want to give it more room than this. So what if we did something like that and then uh, it was like stuck Probably Reg Ice, because Reg Ice would give you frostbite and kill you. How are we feeling about that placement? I mean, obviously, we're going to try to make it look better, but do we think that this placement's okay? It kind of gives equal opportunity to both Reggie and the blade, but focuses on the blade. Um... We could copy and paste into your Ninja Glade. That's an idea. We could do that too sometime. I liked your idea, by the way. I thought that was pretty neat. I know you downplayed it because you're like, hey, man, I'm just uh, tracing some stuff. But I got reference material right over here. It's the same thing, more or less.
Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's a brilliant way to get to know a program. What our program are you using? Oh, yo, Autodesk Sketchbook is so good. Very powerful. I love it. Too bad Kyle isn't here for the Honage love, just saying. Can't figure out how to use it. You gotta watch a few tutorials and then you'll figure it out for sure. It's one of those. So I'm not sure why that got so thick in the line weight there. Gonna come down more. Yeah. Or maybe this needs to come up a little bit more because I kind of like the other side better. Just my opinion. That probably feels better. Yeah, that feels, that feels better to me, at least, proportion-wise. Yes, Autodesk is, is hard is hard to learn. Um, but the thing is, is like, uh, you could also use a, it's a free program called paint.net. Um, don't type in paint.net because that website is not where you get it. Just type it into Google and find it. Um, it's basically like free Photoshop. Uh, but the ideas are all kind of this. The, the thing about art is, and the reason I feel so confident saying this is because like I was saying before, all the tutorials I was watching, the common thing over and over and over again that a lot of them were saying was, the fundamentals don't change, you know? So once you start to learn some things like blocking out your pieces and stuff like that, it doesn't matter what, um, it doesn't matter what medium you're using. The idea is still the same. Paint is awesome. I, I wanna learn how to paint um, with like actual acrylic. Paint, yes, yeah, Sarah, paint is the best. Paint on that's the best. Um, but yeah, paint, oh, oh, Converse, do you mean paint as in like Microsoft paint or like acrylic paint? <laughs> uh, hey, Jacket, what's up? Mostly lurk, lurking, but wanted to show off my channel points. Noise. MS Paint Gang. Look, look at everybody making big connections in the chat. <laughs> yeah, getting there. It, Wyatt, that's you, right? Because I remember, I remember that was your old handle on one of your accounts, or is it still? 
and I have an alt or something. No, nope, never mind. I was about to say, dude, don't freak me out like that. I was like, you wouldn't believe there's somebody who has her name. <laughs> you funny. You think you funny, huh? That was pretty funny. Oh, thanks, man. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know uh, because I kind of keep it to myself. Um, and so we were brainstorming ideas for content. And I was like, I guess I could do this. Gosh, this is a difficult one, detail-wise. Not gonna lie, fam. It is a very pretty Pokemon, so I'm here for it. Uh, what is tomorrow's prompt? I don't remember. You also draw a lot. You're learning to draw on digital. You're more of a pencil person. I was the same way. I still kind of am. I mean, even digitally, I'm drawing with pencil first. Graphite all the way. Tomorrow's rodent? Oh, easy peasy. I mean, there's so many different uh, rodent Pokemon to choose from. You can do Rattata. I mean, I might just... <laughs> well, <laughs> What about like a hamster cage, but there's a radicate inside of it, and he's the size of a regular old hamster? <laughs> With this, like, going to the water bottle and stuff, it's. <laughs> That'd be funny. Well, I'm excited to see yours, Cameron. Are you ahead of the game? Did you already do yours? Badoof is all slow rodent. Yes. There, <laughs> there are so many different rodent ideas. Jacket, you're doing Inktober? Yeah, you gotta. Get in there, man. I wanna see what you got. I've seen you work before. I'm sure your product is gonna be good. I'm excited for it. It's fun, and we're all doing it. And if you uh, if you don't feel comfortable, go ahead and check out everybody post that posts in uh, in the channel for it, and you'll see that there's varying levels of skill, but we're all very passionate about it, which is the fun. I was pleasantly surprised to find, like we were saying before, that, oh my god, there's some talent for sure in our Discord. Rotten Tanuki is just, again, might have a little crush on his style. Might. Yes, DeFi, I love it. I love the AR plus tuber stuff though. It's been killer. I've been privy to many uh, a chat between AR people and looks like everybody's having a great, great time.
Um, okay. I think that's just about right. I guess we gotta make room for the handle. Well, not the handle, but the the, the leafy stuff on the, the the ribbon. The ribbon. It's got some sweet design on it as well. It's basically a requirement that a teacher mentions not being an artist or demonstrating something. I love it. Yeah, and then you see those uh, those videos of people that draw perfect circles and they all look like college professors. And so like, well, I'm no artist then. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing that in person? Just whips that out. The ability to draw a perfect circle. I mean, it's not pixel perfect. It's like um, intimidating. <laughs> It's quite the flex. No, no, there's no way. The math professors can because they use their they use their arm uh, their shoulder as a as a pivot point. That's about right, y'all, I think. Um, let's go ahead and ink. Let's move it. Let's move ahead here. It's uh, becoming a longer stream already. It's already 9.07, but that's okay. I'm pretty much just going to bed after this, I think. Maybe hang out for a little bit. So I'm a-okay with doing this for a bit yet. Goodness that they have a tool for circles in this because I am not doing so hot. <laughs> out cool
I'm right there with you, DeFi. I have the same problem. Actually, I really don't like the way that this is. So I think this could be done better. I think it also needs to be bigger. The circle does. To the rest. Don't know if that actually went the way I wanted it to. That's better. Much better. World of Warcraft is definitely a full-time job. Just saying, if you play it competitively, or if you do if you do um, progression or anything like that, like you better be willing to put in the hours. It is no joke. Not only do you have to put in the hours, you also have to find other people that are willing to do that with you, which is no easy feat, consistently. Yeah, it can be competitive. Yeah, uh, if you do progression rating, it's kind of a competitive scene. Uh, Converse, you rate it every Tuesday and Friday. It's something that's behind you, so I'm happy and I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I loved all of my time in WoW, but I don't think I could maintain it and, and be happy anymore. Um, when I had nothing else to do, it was, oh, nothing made me happier than spending a weekend, you know? Oh my gosh.
Oh, that's a straight line. That is less of a straight line, but it's also not what I wanted, but okay, I'll take it. Let's just fix that. <laughs> what was that? But that looks ugly. Fixed. For the poll question of the, uh, this week, is it fair to answer how Go changed your life? Think big ways versus the little day-to-day -day experiences. Yes, that totally qualifies. How has it impacted your life? And we were we were looking for you know people. We always kind of like try to force feed an answer so that people have something to base off of, right? And so like you know daily activities is an easy one. But yeah, if you want to share how it's changed your life, please please do it. It's kind of the point of the question. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. That's also a straight line. What's with the straight lines? Good deal. Oh no! What's this line doing here? You weren't invited. Also, if I want to call with a voicemail, use my actual recording mic versus phone, which prefer Wave or MP3. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. MP3 is gonna be easy for you to send. Wave will be lossless. I'll only be re-rendering it once and I might, you know, EQ it a little bit, but uh, an MP3 would work just fine. Especially if that's easier for you, then let's do that. I'm actually gonna do these first. He smokes. That looks all right. I 
these darn straight lines. That's not what I wanted either. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Gonna help me out here, tool. Uh, that's actually not too bad freehand. I'm going to leave that. Questionable decision, Chris. I know. I know. Um, also, I know I mentioned it when I came into chat, but I'm so hyped for GoCast PvP Corner. Yeah, you should be. I mean, I I am. I'm excited. Y'all kind of mentioned it offhand, and I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not. I'm so thrilled that uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna do that. That's that's awesome cannot describe how excited I am actually if y'all are consistent I'm gonna have to make you a little tag like we have for the news not just a focoball sound but maybe something else Oh, awesome. I can't wait to hear it. That'll be sweet. Because uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm woefully underqualified to talk uh, talk anything about PvP. That's looking all right. Okay. Now just this guy. Cameron, you and me both. I'm really jazzed about it. Yes, PvP content.
Okay. And his eyes, and then where it goes in. Let me see something really cool. My favorite thing is that whenever you look up a sword in a stone, the, the, the part where it connects is always obscured by the edge of the stone or there's snow on this anvil. What's a girl to do? Hmm. Dragon. Don't want that straight line. Thank you. That is acceptable. Okay, take away the sketch layer. That's the clean ink, boys and girls. Let's, let's do some coloration. Just a little bit, some, um, just some grays. Just to really hammer some of this home. Also, do we want to make the Reggie Rock mad about this? Is he mad about this? DeFi, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> the, listen, everybody, the kindness needs to stop, okay? That's not what I come here for. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I like to think that Retro Rock has emotions. We keep, here, here's what I'm thinking. We could give him the, you know, the whole anime vein angry thing. And we could give the Hone Edge, uh, you know, a, a sweat drop. Um, that might be fun. Or does it need to be bigger? All seven eyes angry. Could you imagine? I don't think the eyes do anything but blink. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. 25 and 26. They're, <laughs> they're bound by blood. <laughs> well, it's good to know that the admin team is aligned. Hmm? Actually, this would be based on what I'm seeing here. Oh, and darn, okay. I missed a detail that I'm looking at this. Part of that part. I'm 
Actually, that part is lighter. Let me see this. Smoke this. Don't hurt yet. Make this part lighter, actually. Nice. That looks about right. Except the eye is also colored, so we'll just make it a little off-white. Just a little bit. Okay. Time for some Reggie love. Let's just make... Just the slightest of differences. Where's that? Oh, I, oh, whoopsies. <laughs> right in front of me that whole time. Uh, white, black, and white. Yes, yes, Inktober. Mm -hmm. That is the correct answer. Also, I kind of like it. It's kind of nice to draw and color in color in black and white every once in a while. I'm liking this. I'm liking the way that this is turning out. I think having the angry, um, oh, <laughs> the, ma the Mahalo quote. Oh my God. Yes, that one is, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. I was like, what are we talking about? Oh, right, right, right. by hand. Uh yeah. I'm I'm digging I'm digging this. I think we did a good job. Y'all killed it. Well, I guess I could probably put No, no, I'm not doing any of the shit. I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. That's done. It's done. It's done, 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 done. Okay. That's it. We did um we did one coloration and two prompts for Inktober today. Good effort. Good hustle today, y'all. This is fun. This is really fun. So, quote six, quote six is how you feel about this art. Well, ah, uh, can be interpreted negatively or positively. Kind of depends, right? So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a look on Twitch and see who is who is around. Who's doing what? Where can, uh, where can we go to next since I'm kind of reeling it in here? Uh, Miss Mystic is playing Pogo, so is Trainer Tips. Looks like Trainer Tips is doing some, he's doing some PVP, but also so is Miss Mystic, obviously. How do we feel about Miss Mystic? We have not raided her yet. Alfen, Alfendiel is on? Is he? I don't think I have him followed, which now I feel dumb. 
let's let's give him a follow right quick why don't we why don't we raid him let's do that pokemon variety stream nice this will be fun okay yes converse thank you for coming out and everybody else thank you so much for coming out tonight these i i look forward to these art streams more than any other content we do and don't tell kyle and i know podcast is supposed to be our main thing but i i adore these nights it's a it's a lot of fun i will definitely check out spicy memes um but we're going to call it i'm gonna call it a day here uh let me get I'll send you all going. All right. So, um, as always, like I say, we'll be doing this next Monday as well. It'll probably still be in October since it's October. Um, and uh, it'll be 7.30 p.m. next Monday, Central Time. Thursdays, we do the, the playthrough for Crystal Version. So, we'll do that as well on uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And uh, until then, I guess I'll, I'll see everybody later. Thanks for coming out. We'll be raiding in about seven seconds so sit tight some more pokemon go goodness well to quote zoe i suppose but <laughs> bye y'all see ya